Welcome back, big board. So we're playing this uh, counterattack uh, scenario four, Stickless Campaign uh, Part One, Little Red Riding Hood. And yes, I'm not on my video stand, so you're gonna have to put up with a bit of shaky. Uh, this is a really tough scenario for both sides because of the lines of sight, and it takes a little bit of uh, absorbing the map because it's a new map uh, to uh, figure out what to do and how to do it. After two plays, and it plays very, very quickly, which is great. There's a very small number of counters, maybe uh, six per side, I think. Um, thereabouts, I could probably tell you exactly. Two, four, five, yeah. Five units for Task Force Eagle, and four, five units plus a hero. Six units plus a hero for the Soviets. It plays super quick, and it's uh, it, it's okay. Uh the reason why I'm not that excited about it yet is that I've not worked out a way for the Americans to win. And I uh, always like to have the good guys win because, hey, I'm a capitalist at heart. So uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll stick with it and try it one more time. Uh, maybe being a little too impatient with the axis, with the axis, with the uh, approach by the Americans, but. Uh, Steckler has a hard time uh, dealing with uh, with this scenario. The roads, the trails, the wooden trails, if you can see these wooden trails here, they um, they cause, uh, you can only stack one unit at a time in those hexes. And it's one movement point through the woods if you're on the, he on the trail. So uh, that causes a few problems for for both sides, in fact. All right, uh, just a quick little summary there. We'll uh, we'll come back with some more details, and I'll, uh, I'm going to kick off scenario two, which is called Crossroads. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> 